Previously on Naya. Oh my goodness. Whoa, 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 I didn't whoa, whoa, think whoa, whoa. I'd see a tree like this again. Where are you going? What's what are you happening? doing? Yes, look! Oh, look at this you tree! You don't go off the path. This Where is my homeland! Going? There's nothing over there. You no, don't look! Warning. There's a there tree! Warning. Yes, nothing I think this over is where there. I came from. You hear them kind of like laughing and be like, ha <laughs> ha! Oh, good job, Kyle! Oh, you too, Bile! <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my god, they're adorable. <laughs> if not for Bijou's brave call for help, the delivery service may still be trapped in the mine today. Excuse me? And the other one goes, dead. So I'm gonna write on parchment the terms that they paid us four thousand gold, four thousand gold, in exchange for giving the gnome to us, agreeing not to parade anyone in cages anymore, to stop using our images, but they can use the song. You um, notice some wanted posters around, um, and they have. Kyle and Bile's face on them. Uh, yes. Oh. What is the prize? Let's go to to Reeves' brother first. I'm going to uh, get permission. Delivery team. Then we will deliver justice to oh. Kyle and Bile. Well, Tatsu has wanted to stick them through since they said they killed that ogre. <laughs> All right, Tatsu, you're coming with me. Okay. We're putting Tatsu in a dress. <laughs> I have heard some rumblings of some some underground insurgencies against uh, against Duran and and the other Kolosevsky. Is that what you're talking about? Oh yeah, yeah. Those Kolosevsky insurgencies. And how will they know that I am with them? Do they have a password. The, the, that's just the, the just that. That's I think good it's the pin. You, okay, good. That's why I gave you the pin. Welcome to Naya. Hey, this is Jay. Welcome to Nair. I am your DM. Hi, my name's Andrew. I'm playing Reeve Vitevich Kolosevsky, a paladin hill dwarf. Hi, my name's Ian. I am a fear bog druid. My name is Aaron. I play Tatsu, the human samurai. And I'm Amy. I play Bijou, the high elf glamour bard. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> Do we get it? No, we still don't know Ian's character's name. Yeah. <laughs> His name is Harry. Harry. Guys, oh just, let it go. <laughs> just let it go. Cut me off. Went Every the wrong time. way. Just. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> what are you guys doing? All right. We just walked out of that bar. Um, Waddled away. Uh, and I'm just going to like walk past where Harry is, I'm just going to say, I'll meet you back at the palace. And then just walk with Tatsuo back to the palace. Cool. Da, 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 da. I, I, yeah. I'll take a couple steps back into the darkness where no one could see me and then just casually walk. We really have nothing to do for two days until that meeting. Not true. Where's Reeve? I, I uh, came out after I won my game of Yutsu. That was Yotso. Yotso. <laughs> I've got it. I've said it three times differently. Yotso. 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 Okay, it can be Yotso. All right, just whatever. What, what are you doing? I um, I, I casually <laughs> walked out after um, doing my flex on Yotso. And you see that everyone already left. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. After, I mean, it was it was slow and it was everybody's trickling slow, out. I just, just kinda, like the start of this episode. <laughs> I trickled out. I trickled out with the crowd, you know, and I was disguised, so it's fine. All right, cool. Okay. Um, not that I'm trying to push you any which way or anything, but uh, just a reminder: do you, does anyone want to talk to Jaron about going to touring? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, like so. Okay. Let's so let's reconvene should... and figure out exactly yeah. what we're doing here. Because I still need to write that letter. Yeah. Okay. We should go to touring after we take care of Kyle and Bile. All right, Harry, what no. did you learn? That would mean that we have to waste two days. Yeah. Um, I mean, could we learn? go and then come back? Would there be enough time? Yes. Okay, let's That's do That's what it. I want to do. They meet weekly. Oh, yeah. okay. Bi-weekly sometimes. It's but at a different away. location, right? Mm-hmm. But he has the pin now, so he has the way in. Okay, well, you don't know that. Yeah. Oh, Harry, I mean, I'm, I'm, what I'm did not, you learn? I'm not tell you. saying it. Oh, God. <laughs> what did you learn, Harry? Tell us in character so we all know. Yes, Harry, inform us. Hey, guys. Um, I have a meeting um, in two days at the dress shop. <gasps> Can I come? I mean, yeah, I'm, I never stopped you from doing that, so. That's great. Are we back in our room at the thing? Yes, let's say yes. Okay. Tato is like, you know, like when you put, like you try and put clothes on a dog. <laughs> I've never had that experience. And they don't like it. And then they just start like awkwardly moving their body to try and get the things off. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Don't rip do it. Don't rip it. Hold on. Let me help. And I, I help her like change costumes. Yeah. She had her stuff on underneath some of this, right? Yeah. She's not naked. Okay. So I'm like taking off the costume pieces. Um, Tot, so do you want to leave your hair in this braid? It looks kind of nice. I'm going to take it down. Take it down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to just press the digitation in her hair loose from the braid. All right. So you've got a meeting in two days yep. at the dress shop. Can I be a dwarf too and come to the meeting? Yes, if we can replicate this pin. And I take the pin off. And I just sit right there on the t- the little. The, do we have a table in the room? Sure. Yeah, the, on the table. Reeve, aren't you some sort of craftsman? Yeah. How are you with jewelry? <clears throat> um, I could give it a shot. So I, uh, I, I do. I have. I still have my Kyle and Bile pin, don't I? Yes, I do. Do I you really? Have, I do have it. I still have it. I forgot I had it. Are you presenting that? Are you going to bring that out? Or something? I'm going to use. I want to modify it to. To, I'm going to use that as a with as source material to build this black star pin. Oh, so um, yes, I I am able to replicate it. What I'm, kind of kit do you have? I have a tinker's. No. Do- no, I don't. I don't have a tinker's. I have a mason. I have a smith. I have smith tools. I can only I can only do like hard. I don't know. I guess that's... is the black star like iron. It's glass. Oh, oh it's glass. No, I, Never I mind. Oh, Never mind. I'll have to outsource. Take a specialist. Yeah. We should also make sure it's not. I'll cast detect magic or yeah, something. That would be good. Um, is it magic? Is that what you're doing? Well, I was... we should probably figure that out now. Yeah, okay. right, right now. I'll, yeah. Do you want me to use my wand so you don't use a spell slot? Yes. Just All right. If you can do that, I can. Wand of magic detection. Boom. One of three uses. No magic. It is not magical. Okay, good. I was worried it might be listening to us. Ooh. You? Ooh. All right. Well, Reed, do you know where we could take this? Sounds to get like it? it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> He's like well, juggling his dice in his hands. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> like, what is that? What is that water coming from? <laughs> <laughs> um, I do. I know of any place in uh, in Soft Hill that will basically do do something like this where did we get didn't we get like a pin of ocreous from somewhere no yeah, yeah. back alley, i i got it? you a sun pin but the guy didn't make it he was just selling it like we need to find a craft oh yeah he was like a back back alley kind of guy i don't want to talk to him again okay um, he kept flashing do, over we, his trench do i know i should know of a craftsman can can we um can we yeah can you tell me what i know <laughs> you know your friend steve all right, Steve, the craftsman. Um, you were children together. We were children together. Oh. One right. time, you guys, you guys wrestled uh, in the mud, and uh, you like tried to go in for a 
for a kiss. And he, <laughs> he was like, whoa, bro, which kind of... And you haven't talked to him since then. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's an exploratory phase for me yeah oh, okay got it okay i can go with that all right so um i i <laughs> really is that I, canon is that what we're going with it is now it's been Wait, recorded yeah, really? went along with it. we've always questioned like you know there's always been like a question of whether or not you know i didn't, there been, <laughs> I didn't know no. that i've never so, wondered i've legitimately never, never wondered oh, except boy. for that one time you tried to get in bed with me i wondered it <laughs> <laughs> did I try to Sorry, get in bed with you? Yeah, it. you did. I was like, I'm sleeping in the bed. You're like, well, I am too. And I'm like, well, I'm not now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think... I don't... Yeah. yeah okay. You were I, like, I do not remember in that, a weird way. But it wasn't in a weird way. Yeah, I don't How remember. How do you say that? <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I wasn't <laughs> going for anything there. <laughs> I just knew there was a lot more space for me because I'm a little guy and you had a big bed. Anyway, All I right, am going to... Out. I'm going to... Um, Mentioned that I know of, I have a friend named Steve from from when I was a child, and uh, <laughs> the story ends there. And we can take this <laughs> pen to him, or and him have him replicate it. How how much do you trust him? And is he the only person <laughs> in this city? Secrets. <laughs> <laughs> is he the only person in this city that would be capable of creating something like this? Because we may not want to go to him. Listen, as a group, s- listen, I will take it to him personally. You sure you want to do that? Because I, if he I've tried before it, to take it to him personally and I have. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Shouldn't we tell your brother what's going on with this black star nonsense? What if yeah, he overreacts? Oh, true. He could overreact and we cannot Should- have him taking a pin that is re- for people revolting against his own family. Right. Because what if Steve is behind all of these? Should I, should I, or, or you, disguise yourself as a dwarf to do this? Mm. I'm okay with that. Um, well, I can join you, um, yeah. but be invisible, maybe? Yeah. As I mean, protection in case I'm decent goes enough south. at talking. <laughs> and you have great charisma. And, Thank you. Yeah. I think it's you could really handle nice. it a little bit better than I could. Um, Reeve, could you at least tell your brother that you are looking into the Kyle and Bile nonsense and we are cur- currently working on something, but just keep it. Well, no, you're not the one to do this. Mm-mm. You don't know how to keep anything vague. No, Especially don't talk to your brother. <laughs> yeah. I'll talk to your brother. Do not go further. Reeve, do you understand that we're withholding information not to hurt anyone, <laughs> but just to make sure that our mission is not compromised? I think I understand. All right, you stay here. I'll find your brother. <laughs> um, all right. All right. And I'll also um, find a way to write a letter, too. So do you mind if I go do that now? Anything else we need to talk about before I do that? No. no. All right, I'll be back, and then we can go replicate this pin. <laughs> so I, I walk out. All right. So Is anyone going to do anything when she leaves, or are you just kind of all standing there awkwardly well, and quiet? We just need to get this ball rolling so we can get in and out of... Nomi World. Nomi World. I forgot the name of it. So or, or dwarves. Okay. No, Nomi it doesn't World. matter. That's the name of it now. No, like the just kidding. It's touring. 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 Mm-hmm. Oh, what okay. are you writing oh, in the letter? Sorry, Peter? I thought you said want to get out. So I'm writing though. a letter to Davis to I basically in as great detail as possible. I tell him about my experience seeing the tree that no one else saw. Mm-hmm. So I like describe what what does it normally look like when we travel through the trees and then what did I experience and then I I tell him about the bad feeling I got and what happened when we threw the candle and just that I'm worried that like that space which we thought we were the only ones moving in is like being infiltrated. Okay. And I tell him to tell the moonlight elves. Okay. And I'm going to go find Jaron. Yeah. Okay. Are you guys, you guys aren't doing anything other than just hanging out and twiddling your thumbs? Can I go with her to see Jerron? Because I feel like, I mean, if she's there, she can shut me up. Like if I. No, I can't. We already established that. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. You did this to yourself. Mm. (laughs) You shut me up the last time I almost cast a. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, but you didn't have an urge to contest it. Like you happen to agree with me that time, but what you know, 
I don't. I'm not. I'm getting risks. better at this whole, you know, I, lying thing. I don't know in character <laughs> about your character development. I'm just trying to make sure this doesn't get messed up. Okay. Come on, bud. But Let's if, go eat if, some it, food. if it hurt your feelings, you can tell me about that later. Take them out for an ice cream. So I find Jaron. Okay. All right. Jaron, do you have a moment? Oh yes. Uh, he kind of he's in another meeting and he says, uh, "Hold on, folks." Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't mean to interrupt. No, go ahead. Um, I just want to let you know that we've looked into the Kyle and Bile bit, and we did get a lead to get more information. We are. We've been made aware that they were not working alone, so we are just currently working on finding out more. And I just wanted to let you know that we are finding out more at this time. That's uh, a little bit troubling, but also very helpful. Thank you for communicating. Um, any details that you're able to share, whenever you you can, will be will be helpful. And I can I can also share pass some information along to my guards if there's anything they need to be looking out for. That's really good. Um, also, um, we will have more information in the next two days. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. So I'm going back. To oh, wait, we forgot to ask him for permission to go into it. I did forget. And maybe we can just do that after we are ready to go. Okay. So, so oh, we that get, was my bad. I forgot. Yeah. So should we all get ready to go? Well, it's two days from now. Mm-hmm. And we need to, yeah, to go get the pin replicated. Oh, right. I figured right. the pin would take like a day. To yeah. Get so, and then we can leave while that's getting. Yeah. Made. And then we could pick it up. And then, because I, yeah. I, I think we have that. enough time Wait. to go like in and out of Gnome World before the meeting. What if we get captured again? It only took us like a, a few hours. Point. The gnomes are more hostile than the halflings. It's true. Or we could get over there. I can plant a tree and then come back. We could plant the that tree way. We don't first. need permission, and we can just hop in the tree, hop in the tree. But how are you going to get there? How there. are you going to get there initially? Well, we just do that. We do a one day thing real quick, and right when we get there, try to find somewhere to put the tree. Oh, so and that... then head back before we get, you know, diving into a mess. Okay. Or we could get caught before we even do that. I don't know. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little worried about it. That's fine because gnomes are sneaky and stuff. We can kill two days then. Yeah. I guess, yeah. You know, I mean to waste our time, but I mean what's it's, he gonna it's, do? It's Make apparently a sit for like two days? <laughs> it's apparently like savage over there. You know what I mean? They're like yeah, wild fun. and Yeah. I felt like we're being a little stereotypical here. I don't know. Just look at this it. guy defending the gnomes now. First halflings, <laughs> now gnomes. Are you even a dwarf? <laughs> I'm not I'm not in character. I'm just yeah, I'm just okay. stupid. All right. So we need to get this pin done. So, Reeve, you said you're going uh, by yourself to see Steven. Yes. <laughs> okay. How's like, that going? without us? Wait. Why? Well, I thought I thought we were. Well, I thought someone was going to go with me. Oh, sorry. I thought I okay. thought the point was we don't want his face to be seen to know that he's involved in this. I know, as not my character, I know you guys were close. Okay. <laughs> I know you guys had a moment, but you got to think. He knows your royalty. He recognizes you. He knows those lips. If he happens to he, if he happens to be behind this revolt, and he sees you coming in with a pin, I think that's going to raise some yeah. questions we don't want. You know does he mean? Know, does he know about the pin? We don't know. We don't know. That's, the thing. that's why we're going in. Is we don't want to take a disguised. Risk. All right. Well, just to just, just to clarify, as far as like the country, I don't think like would respect Reeves name as like Kolosevsky, but they also know like everyone would know that he like left for a really long time that he's well, kind of like all, the black sheep of the family. They've all seen his face but he's been at, at the, the funeral. funeral and like, right. right. But I mean like, like it's not like it's he's not like, that big of a deal. No, not it. The perception of him is a lot different than the perception of like Jaron or his other siblings. Because he, I'm like, kind of outcast in a way, like I, not really. I'm kind of separated. I don't not worry. that I'm saying that to sway your decision at all, but like the just the fact that you bring up like, well, your royalty. I don't know if everyone would necessarily see that. It'd be more like, like my a vice president versus a president yeah, kind of thing. My brother's royalty. I'm kind of. I still uh, think I'm, it's risky though. Yeah, I do too. 
I'm just saying. Yeah, if no, you no really want to go, just, go. I think you should I'm, be there, like nearby. With like, I'll go. The hood I'll up. go and be nearby. I'll be. I'll be nearby. And then maybe if we find out he's cool, yeah, then you can I'll, talk I'll come in. And um, <sighs> I'm I'm a little nervous to be honest because this this guy, I've, we were really good friends, and you know, I sounds I took like, a risk, and sounds like you guys had an intimate moment. <laughs> I don't know that. Do you want to go in there first and just kind of talk to him, get it out of the system? No, no. I um, sure. Let's let's let's. Stick I have to a the, plan. Let's stick to the plan. Yes. I have a really good plan. All right. Yeah. Our friend is clearly going through something. It's okay. I understand. And we're moving on. Listen. <laughs> All right. You should come in first by yourself as some dwarf. A different one. A different one. I'm and gonna have an you, eye patch. You should. <laughs> <laughs> you should maybe try to like praise Jaron or do something pro Jaron and see what his reaction is, and then you tell me. You come out of the shop and tell me what his reaction is. Hail Jaron! No, but like <laughs> that Jaron guy is so great. No, bust open the doors and just say it. He's handsome no, 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 and rich but, and takes but, care of me. Or, or maybe complain about Jaron and see what he says. But try to gauge. Then you can come out. I'll come in as a different dwarf and you can be a different dwarf with me and we can go in together and try to make the pin. That sounds too complicated. It's thorough, but I think it would work. Mm. Let's go. You don't want me being invisible round two? Yeah, round two you could be invisible. Yeah, perfect. But round one, just try to get some information before I walk in there and that way I know which way to play it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, let's do that. His name's Duran. Juran. Juran. J O R R A. The brother. Joran. 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 Okay. Joran. Um, and then Juran. Tatsuo, you can <clears throat> sort of be nearby, outside, mm-hmm. like across the street. Mm-hmm. And then um, Should, I guess I have to put that stupid disguise back on because no, everyone. No, you don't. Just be on the other side of the street, and then if you see a flash of light out the window, okay. then you know to run in. All right, okay. And then, Reeve, you should just wear your hood up again. All right. Is that okay? That's fine. You all right? Yeah. You sound sad. I'm not sad. All right. <laughs> <laughs> just confused. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm uh, contemplative. Plump up a bit of All right. Lead the way. I'm going to... Um, I'm just going to walk as uh, myself a little distance behind me. Hello, everyone. It's Jay here. Your friendly neighborhood fella. Uh, Argus DM, or whatever you want to call me. Uh, listen, I sincerely apologize for our episode coming out one day late this week. Uh, I've been trying really hard to keep everything on a really great weekly schedule, but sometimes life stuff just gets in the way. Um, This was not a fault of anyone else. This was just me not being able to find the time this week to edit the episode. So I sincerely apologize for that. Uh, Thanks to everyone who uh, was so supportive when I shared that on Twitter and Facebook that it was going to be late. Uh, If you want to follow us, you can. Uh, You'll be able to know. If anything like this pops up again, <laughs> uh, we're at World of Nair on both Twitter and Facebook, and our website is worldofnire.com. So anything World of Nair should take you to us. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention uh, was thank you to our uh, current patrons. Uh, and soon I have some plans, <laughs> uh, but we're actually going to be able to incorporate our first co created. Uh, non-player character so thanks to our patreon patron richard for uh, giving us this suggestion and kind of working with me on that it's going to be really fun i'm really excited about it um if you want to become a patron as well and share some of your ideas you can go to patreon.com slash world of nire uh there you can uh join up and listen to some of our back catalog uh listen to uh some behind the scenes stuff you can also see dm notes uh, and 
maybe even suggest someone to be in the episode. So uh, thanks to Richard for that. And thanks to everyone else who's contributing or just listening and enjoying it. We love you guys. Really enjoy putting this out every week. And uh, I'll talk to you one-on-one next time. Bye-bye. All right. So you guys get to, uh, you're going through the market. You find uh, this shop that is kind of, um, it's in, it's you're in a section that's like kind of not the super nice shops, but not the just stalls. It's still indoors. It's between a few other shops, but it's very small. Uh, you go in the little bell dings as you enter, and there's a a guy back there, a dwarf with uh, just refreshingly like smooth skin and like short cropped blonde hair and a really just really attractive, really long beard. <laughs> Um, he's just like in shape and fit. And, um, <laughs> oh my god, I'm falling for this guy. Yeah, he's uh wearing kind of like a like a like a peasant shirt that's a little bit like like a like almost like a Henley, you know, except where you like tie it up and it's kind of undone a little bit. He's just been working and he's out there casual, you know, hanging out. I'm gonna have an eye patch on my left eye and I'm wearing a tunic. All right. Mm-hmm. Anything I, underneath? Nothing. <laughs> that is a personal question, Jay. God. Um, I'm just gonna. When I go in, does it look like it's a, a high end shop? Like it's really nice, or is it just average? Whatever. It's like uh, like run midland. Down. It's not like run down. Like he takes really good care of it, but it's not anything like super flashy or expensive looking. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll go in and I'm just kind of touching a few things here and there, just kind of looking around and like things in the shop or like in the like shop people. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm not touching people. Okay. <laughs> Is it crowded in there? No, it's it just, just him. Okay. Um, I'm going to head back there and just, how's it going? Oh, hello. Welcome. What, what, what can I help you out with? Oh, you know, I'm just looking around. You got a you got a really nice shop. It looks like, you know, maybe Jaron and, and his family, they kinda hooked you up with a good spot and everything, huh? Oh, you know, I've uh I've worked hard to to get to where I am. He kinda rubs his fingers through his blonde hair and you can see the his biceps ripple underneath his <laughs> oh my <laughs> oh my God. God. <laughs> his shirt. And he says, uh it's it's been a you know, I it, would, it took a lot of hard work, but I'm, I'm pretty proud of the place. Thank you for noticing. Yeah, absolutely. And the royalty family, they're, they're not heckling you about anything or any of that? Because I've been hearing they've given other shops uh, a lot of problems, a lot of restrictions. They're taxing them more. He kind of like froze his brow a little bit. Um, and even though it's wrinkled from being furrowed, it still is just incredibly smooth <laughs> <laughs> somehow yeah he, uh, he says no i haven't i haven't heard anything about any of that we i haven't i haven't had any problems at all with the with the royalty or, or any taxing or anything hmm that's that's funny so you like them huh they take care of you they're fine i don't he kind of shrugs and says i don't um I, my day-to-day life isn't affected either way by them, I don't think. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess uh, we'll just keep looking around for a minute, and I'll let you know if I need anything. Oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, I do custom orders, too, so if you're looking for anything uh, specific, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to help out. Um, uh, my name is my name is Stephen, by the way. He reaches out to shake your hand. Oh, hey, Stephen. And I... I quickly shake it i guess yeah yeah it's nice. it's nice it's like a nice firm it's grip cool. um but he's definitely Your like hand is gonna feel really big because the sky self is only appearance and if someone touches <laughs> you well dwarves have they have kind of fat hands yeah hey. it could be the same I'm you're just, not in there i'm just you know just, <laughs> just letting Steven you know. and i all right i'm, I'm a little sure jealous i can make things works. happen <laughs> <laughs> were you were you in a smaller size before, because you you also have the ability to like shape shift a little bit, right? Or is yeah. that all part of the sky? Well, it self? says I can um, appear up to. Is that part three of the sky self? 
Or is that something else? I think he has his own slightly different version of Disguise Self. Okay. Because it says, if you use the spell to appear thinner than you are, the hand of someone who reaches out to touch you would bump into you while it was seemingly and still in midair. So it's only like a, an illusion. That's why it's a first level. It doesn't oh, really change your body. It. Yeah, it is. I can only appear three feet shorter than normal when I do this. All right. That's the specific difference. That's really weird with like where your elbows are and stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, so he shakes your hand and he's like, wow, you got a a nice firm grip there. You do are you a minor? No, Sorry, I, I use my deep Duran voice. Like, what the <laughs> No, no, no. I, I retired long ago. You know, that's how I got this eye. That's yeah. why I don't do that anymore. You notice his grip is like both firm and gentle at the same time. Oh my God. And it's just, incre- his continue. skin is, though you can tell he's done a lot of work, his, his skin is very smooth. Wow. Do you use lotion? <laughs> <laughs> is that Jurgens, I feel? He kind of, he... You mean he kind of casually <laughs> like <laughs> blushes and you see a dimple underneath his beard and oh, he says, "Oh my god, I'm gonna vomit." <laughs> I'm gonna start twirling my beard hair in my finger. It's kind of like I've been blown. What were you saying? <laughs> <laughs> he says, uh, "Oh no, I guess just good genetics, you know." You're telling me. <laughs> you made this character so one-dimensional. He is more than a pretty face. Well, okay. but he, he's a hard worker. He's already established this All too. Right. Yeah, he I, takes care I of himself too. He's, he's well rounded. Appreciate this All wonderful right. character. He's, he's got his own shop. Game. This All man's right. put his life into his All work. All right. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, I'm just a miner. Well, I can't say that it wasn't a pleasure. Um, <laughs> Get married. <laughs> no, he's mine. <laughs> And you know what? You keep this up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you real soon. And he's never going to be with you. Um, yeah, I just, you know, I put my other oddly feeling hand on top of his. I, say, I, hope, to you, I hope to see you soon. Thank you for everything. <laughs> he hasn't done anything for you. I know, I know. <laughs> he kind of like, his. he gets like a quizzical look on his face. His brow furrows again. And he's like. All right, all right. Uh, and he kind of like slides his hand out, like that's fine. A little I will bit do unsure. A backhanded brush of his beard and walk out. Okay, <laughs> that's all. I want him to remember me. I don't think that that will be a problem. Okay. okay. <laughs> all right. Um, and I leave. <clears throat> all right. All right. I'm gonna let you know. That he seemingly is kind of neutral. He doesn't really have any feelings towards the royal family. Okay. Um, when you're ready. All right. So I'm going to go pin. into, like, I'm assuming we sort of went to, like, a not populated area, or like an alley or something to kind of okay. debrief. And so if, if no one, can I check and make sure no one other than Harry can see me? Yeah. Roll a perception check. Um, that is a 17. Yeah. Um, you are able to find a spot that's, that's in the clear. Okay, cool. I'm going to turn into a, basically the equivalent of like a teenager, Mm -hmm. dwarf girl, dark hair, not full beard, just a little stubble, you know, and, um, not like super, super extravagant clothes, but like definitely upper middle class, Mm -hmm. you know, kind of stuff. And I'm going to get the pin from Harry. Do you borrow Reeves' Juicy Couture pants? No. <laughs> okay. No, I don't. All right. All right. So <laughs> they're, they're still available. I'm going to, like, you know, <laughs> take a deep breath, center myself for my performance, and I'm going to walk out and then go into the shop. Okay. okay. I will do hidden step and follow. Am I, am I not going in as well? Am I... I, no, you don't want to show your face yet. You're, you're like waiting outside. Thing. Man, you really want to blow this. Oh, okay, go ahead. I mean, if you want to come in and shop with your hood up and not address him at all, but I just don't want him to see you because I don't, I don't want any recognition because he, he can't know who we are at all. I just feel like there's a desire there to 
just thinking about you know the lotion hand and oh my god that's so weird that's <laughs> yeah but it's really you didn't weird know you don't you don't know what just, he looks like now I'm just kidding yeah you haven't right. seen him in years okay okay I'll stay so I'm gonna walk into the shop yeah. like kind of timidly and just look around and look a little lost yeah um Stephen kind of sees you coming and says, oh hey welcome uh welcome to my jewelry shop are you looking for for something for a a gift or for yourself? Yeah. Do you do like custom mm. work? Uh, yeah, definitely. You can like make something that like looks like <laughs> something <laughs> else. This is upsetting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That's I can... so awesome. So I'm uh, going to like go up to the counter. I'm going to ma- make a point to not like come in contact with him at all. I've got like gloves on my hands and stuff. To, yeah. And I'm just sort of keeping more to myself. Okay. So my boyfriend gave me this really pretty pin, and I'm just really scared that if I lose it, it'll be gone forever. So I just wanted to make another one. It's like a backup. Okay. Uh, yeah. That. I guess if you're uh, able to pay for it, that's fine. Oh, of course. It's not my position to question logic. All right. Are you ready to see it? It's sure. It's really cute. Um, he always tells me that I'm the star of his life. And so then he gave me this and I put the black star pin down on the counter and I just yeah. slide it over to him. How much would it be to like make another one? I need it in like a day. He, um, he kind of, he looks at it and then he raises his eyebrow and, uh, he says, huh, this is not the first one that I've. I've seen of these. I've, I've made a few, so I can definitely get it done in a day. That's awesome. It's probably really popular because he likes me to have the latest styles. Hmm. Well, I'll be honest. Uh, the the ones that I've sold before, were, I, I don't think they were necessarily for uh, the young and fashionable. But, uh, yeah, we can. we can. Let me think. Uh, I, could, I could get this done for you for 20 gold pieces if you need it tomorrow. <gasps> wow. That's like a really good price. Well, that's why uh, people come to me. Great work, great prices, you know? Yeah. All right. So here's 20 gold. Do you need all up front? Well, I was going to just take it when you when you pick it up tomorrow. Oh, but... sorry. <laughs> that's so silly of me. All right. Well, I'll be back in a day. My name is Marta, and I'll pay you when I come back. All right, Marta, Stephen, nice to meet you. He reaches out to shake your hand. Oh, I'm not supposed to shake hands with strangers. <laughs> that's what my Marta. that's what my dad says. Oh, I'm sorry. He just doesn't want me to get sick. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, that's fine. I suppose you know I'm going to be touching this. That's this gem, okay. So. I'm just gonna I'll carry it with my gloves and I can clean it when I get home. Okay. And did you want it the same material, like the black glass? Yeah, and... it has to look exactly like it because if I lose it, I don't want my boyfriend to know. I just want to have like a backup that looks exactly the same. All right. Yeah. If you, do you want uh just one backup? I can if I'm making using the same model, I can I can give you a couple more for really? a better price. Oh, that's so smart. Um, yeah, can I get like two more? Two on top of this one? Yeah. So like a total well, I total of three. So the original and then three more. Yeah, I could do that for um what forty gold? That is such a deal. Yes. All right, yeah. Well, uh I'll see you um I can see you tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you, Steven. You're so nice. Oh, my pleasure. All right, two at all. All right, bye. <laughs> I'm gonna oh walk God. out. Are you staying in the store or are you walking out also? I'll go out as well. Okay. Just be glad Tatsu is not there. She <laughs> <laughs> would hate everything about that. I'm, I, I'm gonna. Um, I, I want to put my cloak up and go into the shop, mm-hmm. like trying to avoid everybody and and go in there and just kind of keep a distance, but kind of peek at Stephen through the through like the shelves and stuff to see <laughs> how he <laughs> looks. <laughs> How's just, I'm just looking? curious. Do we see him at all? Uh, Roll a perception check. Yeah, I should have stayed versus, versus, stealth. versus stealth check. All right. <coughs> oh, dear. Nat one plus mm. per, uh, four, five. Eleven. You so, you definitely see him making going over. Oh, um, this is to roll to see if I can watch him? 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. No, it's a five. I don't. How how far away am I from him? You guys would have had to pass each other because he wants to go into the shop. So I'm gonna like shoulder shoulder him, like because I'm still as Marta. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna be like. Oh, excuse me. What are you doing? Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. Do I need to stay in character? Tatsu is like, what? The? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like down. I can't see. Okay. Aren't I like down? You're like across the street. Yeah. Do I need to be in character as far as like act like I don't know you? That's up to you. Okay. You're already breaking what we said you should do. Didn't you? So. Was he there when he saw you change or or no? Does he know your yeah? Like disguise? he he knows that like I went in after Harry. Does he recognize you though? Was he I, I don't know. I have no idea. I'm gonna just act normal. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> Where are you going? I thought you were walking the other direction. Re. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say his name quieter so people don't understand. Do I do I know do I know you? This is Beju. You're not supposed to go in the shop. Oh, don't uh, want to raise suspicion. Um, uh, I wasn't going in the. Sh- I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, oh, I'm terrible at this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about this later. Maybe after we get the pins, then you can go in and talk to the him. The man's in love. Not, um, not before. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. Let's go. So I'm gonna duck down an alley and change back. Okay. To Bijou. Did I did I get a glimpse of him though? <laughs> no. <laughs> while the door was closing. You had a nap yeah, one. while the door was closing. <laughs> yeah. See him. The let the glow from inside of his shop illuminated the the blonde hair and kind of put almost like a a, a halo reflection. <laughs> around. Um, and just as the, just as soon as you saw him, the door closed. I'm envisioning him as Brad Pitt, but young. Mm. With long hair. Yeah. Yeah, same thing. Like when same he was in that now. vampire movie. Oh, back in his prime. Yeah. Oh, it was an interview for a vampire. Yep. Yeah, yeah. that one. Yeah. Um, nice. I. Mm. This guy is sexy. I uh, I I kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of had the same feelings I had. They kind of come back to me, sure. but uh-huh. I'm trying to I'm trying to sort it out. I'm just trying to sort it out. Like I don't know how to feel about what I just saw. Like, I just don't know. I, I'm, I'm just so conflicted at this point. Still invisible. I'm standing. I've been standing inches from him the whole time. <laughs> you were start- looking. You actually had to look through Harry to see the. <laughs> I mean, none of this is obvious. <laughs> like none of this is obvious. Like I still have the stern look I always have, but you can tell my eyebrows. Yeah. Instead of having, but it the was kind like of- what I'm saying is it was like right through Harry's belly button. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just okay. invisible, man. So you looked right, right through me. Okay, got it. Um, are we are we still standing outside the building? Yeah. Or did we kind of walk away? You're still okay. Then I won't touch him. I thought we were kind of okay. Yeah, I I turned back with with um uh what was her name? Marta. Marta. <laughs> <laughs> I turned back with Marta. Heavy quotes. And uh, we, we. I'm I'm Bijou now. I turned back. Oh, you turned back. Okay, well I'm. Bijou. I just wanted to say more. <laughs> I'm just warning you that if Tadzo ever hears Marta speak, <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna be good. Uh, <laughs> well, that was pretty good role playing, though. It was very cringy. Here I am. I can't stand her. Excuse me <laughs> yeah, while like, I try and find a way to put Marta and Tatsuo together. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna go a totally different route and try to flirt with him, but because he had already been so objectified, I had to go right. the other direction. Objectified? What's objectified? Yes, he has about? been objectified. All right. Okay. I'm just trying to give good character descriptions here, this guys. Is this I want is... you to picture it in your heads, and uh, <laughs> I've got it. It's right here. I'll be on the same page. So when we talk about someone, we're not like, "Oh, I thought he had black hair." No, he was a redhead, like Harry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dirty okay. blonde. So, um, dirty blonde. Now we all know. So, where are we going now? Guess we're going back to the to palace. Wait, to wait. All right. You can bond with your brother. Okay. We can. Uh, you can ask him permission to cross into touring. Yeah, right. you let's do that. Let's do, do that. that. <clears throat> so we're gonna walk up to the. Um, I guess is we're going up the elevator and everything, right? Mm-hmm. By now it's probably dinner time. Um, so, Jaron always eats in his like. 
dining room. And so oh, you guys we? have an open invitation to always join for dinner. Oh, okay, cool. We do. Let's do that. So right. um, I guess we just walk in and sit down at the table. Mm-hmm. And I just say, hey, Drone. Uh, hey, Reeve. <laughs> how, um, how have you been since we've been gone? Well, I'll be honest. Uh, running an entire city is not an easy task. It's been pretty much meetings and public appearances and handling situations every waking moment. So it's it's been stressful, but uh, I'm glad that I grew up in this environment. I think I would have been completely overwhelmed if I was, I mean, no offense, but like you and, and didn't spend as much time here. Mm. I take it. I take it a little personally, but I don't let them know. Yes. I, I'm sorry. I'm not around as, as much as I should be. It's, it's also been very busy going well, from place to place looking for, uh, it seems now like you have a, you have a purpose as well. And you have, you are trying to help the world in your own way. So I'm not, I'm not meaning that as a, an insult at all. Speaking of none, our purpose. None taken, brother. Um, yes, uh, as Tato was saying, uh, we, uh, we found a... Do we, do, sorry, I got a break. Um, where Does he know that we found all the seven sons, right? He, he knows, right? Um, he doesn't know we found them, but he knows we're looking for them. Okay, and I'm just going to hint at like having a, like, uh, I'm I'm not going to divulge everything that we've found, but I'm going to kind of give him some information. So, uh, yes, we've um, we've been exploring the the realm, and we've been we've we found um, some information that um, leads us to believe that there's another sun um, in the uh, gnome country. And uh, I want, wanted to ask you if we could possibly pass through the gate. He he nods and says that that makes sense. If there's one from every race, uh, you know, as whatever my personal feelings are on the gnomes, I think if you need to uh, go through, then uh, we can let you through. I would just give you a warning to be careful. They're not very friendly to our kind and true a lot of this may have been due to uh, our our history of our nations and and our side of things but just be careful if you have any way to kind of disguise yourself or anything i would recommend that yes uh, my friend here is excellent at um at disguises so i'm sure oh tatsuo oh no totally it's me no not not tatsuo (laughs) it's me i'm Um, so good at it my my friend. She actually wears a disguise quite well, but it's me. <laughs> <laughs> That's my work right there. Yeah. Yes, my my humble friend Bijou over here uh, knows a thing or two about disguises. Um, we we really appreciate it, brother. Thank you so much for all your hospitality. When were you hoping to cross over? I'll have to arrange some some. I'll have to let the guards at the wall know. Um, we're expecting to cross over in two to three days, maybe more if um, we get caught up with things here. We're we're um, we're doing a couple of other things as well, uh, investigating the um, the treasonous um, Kyle and Bio situation. Where, uh, yes, those idiots. <laughs> I like your style. <laughs> Yes, um, we we have many regrets about them, um, and we're gonna we're going to fix that. All right. Well, uh, like I said, just let me know, I'll, um, and I can arrange for your passage through. Uh, I will definitely not be able to send anyone who can help. Um, none of our none of our people will go over the wall, but I can at least let you through the gate. That's. That sounds great, brother. We uh, we we don't need any more. Um, probably we don't need any more dwarves with us than the one. <laughs> so, all right. Oh, you, me, you, me, me. Oh, okay. yes, yes. I was confused as to who you were talking about. <laughs> I, I talk about myself in third person quite a bit. All right. Well, it's a terrible habit. 
It is. That's not my favorite. Yeah, you're a freak. (laughs) (laughs) Such a straight shooter. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Paso just enjoys being able to say that to someone instead of receiving that. Mm -hmm. So she just thinks it's normal, you know, for people to call each other that because she gets called it all the time. Sure, that's what she thinks. Yeah. (laughs) Did you all have any other? Adventures today? Anything exciting happen? No, no not at all. Not Nothing. Really. I did a little shopping, but I didn't find anything I liked. Oh, and no. I mean, the craftsmanship was impressive, but I didn't find anything I immediately needed. Understandable. Yes. I'm sure we don't have very many things that would fit your size. Yep. Yeah. I'll make do. Because they're all dwarves. Use you? <laughs> You know, I'm so tall and slim and undwarf like. Exactly. <laughs> I get so it. I get it. We do have some. Uh, I, I recently, he pulls, reaches into his pocket, like his little <laughs> shirt pocket, and he pulls out uh, an ivory kind of comb that's very ornate. And he says, I recently just uh, received this beautiful beard comb from one of the crafts men in the the marketplace and he just kind of very proudly strokes it through his beard that (laughs) is magnificent oh yes you can see there's actually a little jade on the the handle here it's it's fabulous i'm very i'm always i'm always astounded by what the craftsmen in this city can do yes which craftsman made that for you oh i don't know his name (laughs) i'm (laughs) jaron are you sure it wasn't steven did you bring his name up? <laughs> I, I sigh a little bit over here. Steven, uh, wasn't Reeve? Wasn't that one of your friends growing up? <laughs> is he? Is he working now? Is that who you guys went to see today? Uh, um, uh, yeah, by um, coincidence. Yeah, it was really strange because I was looking for um, something to complement this beautiful necklace, and I showed the the moon amulet. Yeah. Would you believe that when I was in Moon Lake? The elves thought this would look so nice on me, and it actually helps me speak better. It's a magical amulet. Do you have any magical amulets? I'm just totally changing the subject. <laughs> no, we don't. We don't deal with magic very much here in oh, South that's right. Oh, I don't mean to offend. I'm so sorry. I, I'm. I'm enough. I'm traveled enough that I don't have any biases towards it. But yeah, not not a lot of other people in the country here very fond of the magical bearing types i can understand i would suggest you get your beautiful comb enchanted but you don't need it oh thank you he blushes and kind (laughs) of strokes it through his beard again well uh why don't we uh just kill some time guys let's go (laughs) bye gonna go take a rest all right uh let's go ahead and end this episode here thank you for listening we'll talk to you next week (laughs) bye-bye Bye. Shoulder. Cat. Radio. Ah. Dog. Dog.